welcome back. Um, let's look at problem number 37. In problem number 37, we want to find f prime of x. If f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 2x minus 10, and find an equation for the tangent line where x is equal to 1. All right, so the first thing we want to do here is we want to find the derivative f prime of x of this function f of x. And to find the derivative, uh, we know the following. We know that f prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. All right, so let's fill in what we can here. I'll go up top, and let's say this is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h. So what we want to do is we want to take x plus h and plug it in everywhere that we have an x in our function. So let's go ahead and do that. If I do, I get 3 times x plus h quantity squared plus 2 times x plus h minus 10. Okay, so that's f of x plus h. Then we want to subtract f of x. Well, all of this is f of x, so we want to subtract 3x squared we want to subtract 2x, and we want to subtract minus 10, which is adding 10, all over h. Okay, so now we need to do a little bit of simplification work. Uh, so let's rewrite this. This is the limit as h goes to 0 of, if I square this first one out, I get 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3 h squared, then I get plus 2x plus 2h <clears throat> minus 10. Notice I have a minus 10 and a plus 10 on top, so let's just cancel those right now. And then what's left over here is I get a minus 3x squared minus 2x, all divided by h. All right, so uh, now some cancellation happens on the top. You can see that there's some things that will cancel. I have a positive 3x squared, and I have a negative 3x squared, so I can get rid of those. Um, I've got a positive 2x, and I've got a negative 2x, so I can get rid of those. And so let's see what's left. I've got the limit as h goes to 0 of, uh, let's see. Uh, I've got 3h squared plus 6xh plus 2h all over h. I can factor out an h on the top of the equation. If I do, I get the limit as h goes to 0 of h times uh, what would be inside. We get 3h plus 6x plus 2 all over h. The h is cancel, and we're left with the limit as h goes to 0 of 3h plus 6x plus 2. Now we can take the limit of this thing as h goes to 0. All that happens is 3 times h would go to 0. And I'm le left with 6x plus 2 for my derivative. So uh, I did all this work basically to find that f prime of x, or the derivative of my function f of x up here, that the derivative is 6x plus 2. And that's the first part of the answer that I'm looking for. The second part of the answer that I'm looking for is, now can we find the tangent line where x is equal to 1? Okay, well, if x is equal to 1, what is the derivative, or what is the slope? f prime of 1, it's not a very pretty looking 1, uh, f prime of 1 
is equal to, if I plug in 1 here, I get 6 times 1 plus 2, or 6 plus 2 is 8. So the derivative at 1 is 8. So the slope of my tangent line that I'm looking for is 8. Okay, so now that I know the slope, I also need to know a point. So if I know a point and I know the slope, then I am able to calculate the equation of that tangent line. So let's do that right now. So I'm going to use my point slope equation, y minus y uh, 0 is equal to m times x minus x 0. And so I get y. Now what's my point? If x is 1, then what is y? Well, let's figure it out. If x is 1, I get 3 plus 2, which is 5, minus 10 is minus 5. So the point that I'm dealing with, I know that m, which we just figured out, the slope was 8. And the point that I'm dealing with here is the point 1, negative 5. I just plugged 1 in to the function to get minus 5. So I get y minus y1, which is minus 5, is equal to m, which is 8, times x minus x naught, which is 1. And so I get y plus 5 is equal to 8x minus 8. And so I get that y is equal to 8x. And then I subtract 5 from both sides. And I get minus 13. And I get the equation of the tangent line. All right, so uh, we were able to figure out what is the derivative of the function using the definition of the derivative. And we were able to figure out uh, the equation of the tangent line where x is equal to 1.